excited and uh, it's amazing news to receive at the moment as well. So it really just makes you feel real again and it's really something now, you know, you can set up the plan and start working towards it and it's just a really wonderful feeling actually. It's really nice to, to have that nomination. Yeah, absolutely it does. And you know, I hit the ground running at the back end of 2019 in preparations for the Olympics, um, which will be this year, but that doesn't change anything going into next year. If anything, it has actually allowed me um, a little bit more time in my preparation to really be the best I can be when I step on to the stage of the Olympics next year. So I'm taking all the confidence in the world from what I did in Doha last year, and I'm trying to channel that into next year, alongside the fact that I've had a little bit more training time. So uh, I'm excited to see what next year brings. to show what I can do and as I said after winning world championships last year and that feeling of winning and celebrating and having everyone around you um, for all the hard work you put into what we do day in and day out I am really looking forward to it and it's going to mean so much to me um, to be in Tokyo next year. If anything, it's just been a perspective on reminding myself that um, time can still mean you've got ages to prepare for something. So to not really get caught up in that, especially leading into such a major championship event. to what I would expect it to be at this time of the year. But uh, it, I've actually spent the most time at home I've spent here, I think in the last like four years. So <laughs> really settling into a routine now and it's really orientated around um, my training. So we sort of have set training times at the Australian Institute of Sport. So allocated times to train. So yeah, day's really centered around that. And then uh, it's home time. Generally, between that, it's not super exciting because, um, you know, we're, we're still trying to do the right thing by uh, not being out and about when we don't have to be and being really mindful around, like, still um, training is a priority and we're still preparing for something really big next year and the recovery aspect of that is just as important um, with all the work that we're doing right now. So top of my list is, is my training and then just spending time at home and that also means I get to spend some extra time with my family which I don't normally get to do um, because we're normally travelling this time of the year so trying to make the most of that at the moment too. Especially being back on site now is really helpful, but I do bring my coach home with me every day, so <laughs> we have to be really mindful just around um, how much chat there is, um, especially again with 
with COVID and the postponement of the Olympics and just life in general at the moment, uh, we're, we're really mindful about how much time we actually spend just talking about that uh, versus just enjoying a movie or enjoying a dinner together and just really trying to enjoy time, um, not as an athlete and a coach. <laughs>